Well, hello everybody and welcome to Gutzler Man. It is that time of year again. It is February the 14th. It is Valentine's Day. Yes, the day of love. So, mm, I do like to smell flowers. is isn't just, just a, a beautiful thing, but what is love? What do you think love is? Leave it in the comments below what you think that love is. Uh, so I guess you know what the video is on today. It is, what is love? What does the Bible say about love? So we're going to go over three verses today. And the first one is 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 and 5. And then we're going to go over 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And then we're going to go over 1 John 4, verse 5. Those three verses I picked out because I just believe that they kind of just tie in on what love is now there's many more verses don't get me wrong there's you know these not the only three but i tend to pick out three that i've recently went over and well just <laughs> without further ado let's get with it wow we made it this is it this is february the 14th I can't believe it. This is, uh, to me, it just seemed like yesterday I was shouting and blowing my car horn because of New Year's, and then we're already here on Valentine's Day, the day of love, and that's right. Um, wow. I still can't believe it, but it's here, and a lot of us, we go out of our way to do certain things for the ones we love, like reservations at a dinner or maybe a nice uh, dinner at home by candlelight and maybe uh, maybe those of you that are artistic uh, create music through maybe playing the guitar or the piano or maybe just some of you are artistic in uh, poem poetry making beautiful poems for the one that you love but we all do it for the same reason, is that there's a part of us that loves the one we're doing it for. And that's what today's video is about. It's about what does the Bible say love is. And we have to start this with 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 and 5. And let me tell you right now that I'm using... Uh, I'm using the Bible Gateway on my computer, and I'm using the Living Bible version of that. So, if you want to log on or through your iPad or iPhone or something, uh, just go into uh, Bible Gateway, and of course, I will put the link below to Bible Gateway. So that's just um, let's just get right to it. First Corinthians 13. Verses 4 and 5, the Living Bible, using the Bible Gateway app. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. Wow. Wow. That is a very powerful verse. Because, let me tell you one thing. Um, and I'm, I'm speaking of me personally. I mean, I, there's, there's times that I believe that I know what love is. And I could have the smallest grain of salt clue on what really love means wow I mean you start reading certain Bible verses and you just come out with a totally different opinion than what you had going into it that was my experience and I'm, I'm sure that that's going to be everyone's experience wow love is very patient and kind never jealous or envious, never boastful 
are proud. I love that because a lot of times, you know, we get impatient with the one we love. And it's maybe sometimes it's not a bad impatient, you know, um, we're just kind of impatient ourselves because we want the one that we care about to call. Uh, I know a lot of times whenever I was dating my wife, I, I wanted her to call. I would, I would leave her a voicemail and then I would just be, <laughs> I would do probably whatever guy does is just stand there by my cell and just hope that it rings. And if it does ring, I just hope that it's her on the other end. Um, and kind, so you, you know, you never want to, w when that person does call back, like in my case, I'm using myself in his example here, you never want to be like, man, I waited so long, what happened? Uh, never jealous or envious. You know, I've, I've seen really great people throw away great relationships because they were jealous. They were, you know, they just got too conceited about themselves and I, I believe that's what it was and they just let their relationship go because they were jealous. Uh, envious, never boastful or proud. Wow. Ne never go around and be boastful and proud and you know just be like man look at look at the woman i got look at the woman i got or you ladies out there look at the man i got it i mean it's okay to be proud of the relationship but i don't think it's it's talking about that kind of proud i'm thinking you know it's like you're better than everyone else because you're in a relationship kind of proud um never haughty or selfish or rude um, I mean, I, that speaks for itself. Haughty, selfish, rude. You know, I, I, I want to go, you know, we're going to go here because I want to go here. Or I've heard when I was younger, a lot of my friends are like, well, if I'm paying for dinner, she's going to go anywhere I take her type of attitude. Uh, that's, that's not the way to go about it. And I even knew back then, <laughs> you don't do that. Uh, love does not demand its own way. That kind of reflects on the haughty, selfish, or rude. It is not irritable or touchy. That kind of goes back to, you know, patient and kind. Uh, love, love does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. Um, I am not perfect by all means. And there, you know, being in this marriage for 16 years, there's a lot of things that I'm going to do wrong. There's a lot of things that she's going to do wrong. But I know that she doesn't hold any of them against me. I don't hold any of it against her. I know that in the moment, you can get into an argument, and then you make up, and then something else happens, and you're arguing, and then you make up. But, you know, I, I just, I try really hard not to bring up the past. And the second verse I would like to talk about is 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And that just simply says, and I've stated it before in some of my other videos, um, there are three things that remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. I know that I stated before in the past that that is my favorite, one of my favorite verses and because it, it just says that faith, hope, and love are the three things that remain. And the greatest of these is love. And we just learned in 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 and 5 what love exactly, what love means. And now we learn that there are three things that will remain. Some, some Bible verses say there were three things that will endure remain they kind of mean the same thing faith hope and love and the greatest of these is love and wow i'm just i don't know I, that every time i i read that verse i get chills because faith hope and love and the greatest of these is love wow that's just extremely amazing to me it is now this third verse um i'm gonna read it 
and then I'm going to kind of explain it on the way that I believe that it's meant. You can really read a couple of things into this verse, but it is 1 John verses 4 and 8, and it states, But if a person isn't loving and kind, it shows that he doesn't know God, for God is love. And I have to say, wow, about that verse too. That last part, for God is love. And we're not talking about earthly love, love as we know it. We're talking about agape love. Because God is love, and that he loved first, that we know how to love, because he loved first. That first part that says, um, but if a person isn't loving and kind, it shows that he doesn't know God. You can read into that a couple ways. Uh, first way that a person can read into that is, is that, so you're saying that if, if you're not kind to everyone at all times and loving at all times and just turning the other cheek at all times, if, you know, if someone comes at you or your family and you retaliate trying to protect yourself and your family, uh, then that means that, you know, are you saying that I'm not a person of God? That is definitely what that is not saying. But the second way that a person can read into it is exactly probably what it means, and I'll explain that. But if a person isn't loving and kind, it shows that he doesn't know God. I, that verse is talking about the person that is always grouchy, is always looking to step on other people in order to lift themselves up. The person that is always putting up boundaries around them and if someone tries to approach that boundary then they're always saying stuff about them saying negative and ugly things about them those are the persons that just they don't care really about anybody else but themselves and whatever it takes to get themselves lifted up is what they're going to do if that means stepping on someone getting someone fired if that means that you know I got to make this person look stupid in order for me to look better in a sense uh, that's a layman way of describing it but that's how I believe that statement is in that that first John 4 verse 8 but if a person isn't loving and kind it shows that he doesn't know God for God is love nothing about that says that you can't protect yourself or your family or that Every day you have to be in a good mood. Every day you have to be up, lifting others up. I know that, you know, myself included, there's there's things that get me down. Some, you know, sometimes I just have to set down wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing. If there's if there's nowhere to set down, then I have to keep going until there is somewhere. And then I set down and then I just reflect on things. Because the more you let it eat at you, the more it can get to you and and you know the more it gets to you the more the people see it people that you love people that love you um, are around you and they start seeing it so I just I just love that verse for that reason is that it's not saying at all that you can't ever have a bad day or ever protect your family it's just saying that if if you're constantly seeing someone belittle someone else in order to make themselves look better or did they're just a horrible person then how can they be of God you know what I mean for God is love and when you're of God you start reflecting that you know that you start becoming like the people that you hang around if you hang around God and other church goers you're going to start acting that way that is the truth well there you have it, folks you have uh, what the Bible says about love on this Valentine's Day. That is 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 and 5, 1 Corinthians 13 verses 13, and 1 John 4 verses 8. And if you like what you heard, please, please subscribe and hit that like button. That way you can get more content. And until next time.